everybody and welcome back to let's mess up sim city with me the trunkleton today we're starting a new city there's a tornado right there in fun isles we are gonna go here i think we were gonna save this one for last i have plans we're gonna go here for now i think we're gonna build two cities at once kind of maybe in a few episodes time we'll start working on this the plan is this we're gonna go for the leaderboard i want to go for the leaderboard in the trade well, I want to try. I want to see how high it is first and then decide. But we're going to make a trade city because we're going to make a great works. So we're going to go do arcology. And then in this city, we're going to do just industry, kind of. We, I want to get it. I want to do some more region stuff. I want to see if that works. If we can get just in, the, not just industry, you know, a few houses, people working there. But so we can send the industry to, over to this city, the freight. And that way. I can just have commercial and residential in the city and go for a nice built up city. So yeah, let's go here. I will claim it and I'll meet you there. Okay, so we're here. We've got a bit of water. Awesome, that's going to be good for their trade. Do we have rails? Oh, it's on the other side of the damn city. We're going to have to bring rail over somehow. Not somehow, just straight track through. So we can have our... Uh, Port. We can have a trade port here. That's what I'm thinking. It's going to help out a lot. We can get the boats and the rail working together. That way we can get some industry coming in from... Where's... Oh, it's right there. It's so close. So yeah, from over here, we can get um, the freight coming in. I think that'll help. It's so freaking foggy in the morning. It... You know, certain views, it doesn't look too nice. we got all our other cities over there. Awesome. So yeah. Let's get started. We gotta start basic. We we'll just get. Um, let's just pull this out. So while I'm doing this, I'm gonna talk to you about my dog. Just talking to the groomers. It's gonna look beautiful. Let's come out here. Let's just do the normal, normalness. Let's yeah. Let's just go with that. But now let's do this. Build up quite, quite quick. I think this time. Just do a few. I like the distance here. I don't know why it's like that, but it'll work. But we can't go any farther. So let's just try this. This is just to get us started. And then we'll figure out from from there where we're going to go. So we do need a little bit of industry. We'll start putting some... In ah, let's check the wind first. It's not really going to matter too much. This is going to be a heavily polluted city. Let's just check the wind anyway. Hopefully you're blowing, you're blowing this way. So industry would be good on here. So let's go. Uh, 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 and uh. we're gonna need some industry right and since they fixed the processor problem you know processor factory is not you know you needed to have you actually had to have the medium tech instead of medium or high tech they fixed that now but yeah back to my dog we're just talking to the groomers because he's gonna look pretty for Christmas my my wife wants to get him a Santa outfit so we're gonna do that as well when we pick him up for now, I'm not going to really do too much with the commercial. Let's, let's just fill this one out. That'll be enough for commercial, I think. Uh, but yeah, this city, we're going to... We want to get rid of most of the industry. I know it's going to be a polluted city. But still, we don't need that much pollution. But yeah, Santa outfit for the doggy is going to be cute. Uh, but he's going to be hot in the Philippines. It's freaking hot here. And he's not going to enjoy that. Let's oh, speed it up. Oh, we need power. Do we have enough of this? We do. Let's just go straight out coal. Let's screw it. Let's just go all out quick, fast here. And the water. I say water. It's water. Say say real English, Pete. Trunkleton. <laughs> and then the sewage. We can stick the sewage down here. Yes, water. Would you like a glass of water? I don't like that at <laughs> all. Oh, sounds so terrible. We should be doing good now. We got the basics now. We're going to need garbage soon. Um, so I don't know how we can check. Let's see what we need to get the industry crap up. The town hall be done in a bit, not too long ago from that. Pop three stiff different storage lots on this, and trade seventy two thousand in the global market. Ooh. So now while we're waiting for things to grow, get us a bit of cash. Let's check out what the where's the coal. Not a lot of coal here. 
I think the plan is we're not we're gonna save up cash. We're gonna be selling it at first. I think on little dibs and dabs and stuff. Oil. Ooh, quite a lot of. I think we'll leave this plot here. We'll go for this first. Stick to the back. Keep the people down here close to the exit. We'll do a better design on this. I think we'll go more of, more of design. We got those free. So we're gonna su try and suck it all up while saving it. You know, we want to get maximum output here. We want to get it all up. Instead of selling it, I think we'll sell the recyclables instead. Because that's the kind of a renewable source in this game, the recycl recyclables. If I'm even saying that right. What I mean by renewable is the people create trash. And then they give us the recyclables and we sell it. And it's going to keep happening forever and ever and ever. But with the coal, the oil and the raw ore, once it's gone, it's gone. Hmm the last of my first mug of coffee I've got one more here yummy because uh, I started that first mug before I went to the groomers you know it's what time is it now it's 11:42. so I got I woke up at nine o'clock was drinking last night you know got a bit drunk had lots of fun we drink in our garage so just having fun talking about cars because the people like my fr my friends my brother-in-law's friends but they're my friends now you know they're they're loaded. They <laughs> they are absolutely loaded. So we're talking about nice cars, and you know I used to own a Nissan Skyline, my favorite car ever. I've done that. You know I had to sell it due to the fact that I didn't have the money to maintain it. It's not that it. You know what? To be honest with you, a Nissan Skyline is not too expensive to maintain if you got the money to do it. You know it's not a lot of money. Maybe it's about the same cost as um, maybe an SUV. I, mid-range SUV let's say a mid-range car rather than you know a high-end sports car or something I reckon it's about that cost the thing is the, the, the Skyline was 22 years old uh, not 22 years 20 years old you know all the rubber the rubber pipes you know the fuel pipes all that started to you know corrode you know get they're not flexible anymore so you know we had a few gas leaks you know just replace the pipe it's easy you do that yourself and then the alternator went left me stranded twice I first, you know, my first assumption was just the battery's dead. You know, got stuck. Freaking horrible in the middle of um, Edsa. Busy road here in the Philippines. Got stuck for hours. Because no one was around to save me. And when we finally someone came to save me, you know, the battery wasn't holding its charge because the alternator had gone and I hadn't realised that. First I thought I ran out of gas, which I didn't. <laughs> the gas indicator was broken. Of course, you know, everything went wrong at once. It's just a few problems, you know, the, the actual expense to fix the car in the end before I sold it was less than $300 and it, then it was working perfectly, you know. It would have lasted a few more months before something else went wrong, you know, I could have easily, if I had a job, you know, in the Philippines, if I was allowed to work, I could have easily maintained it, but being as poor as I am, I couldn't. But that car, when that was working, that thing was fast, I swear. I've no, I don't think there's a car out there that I want to own, apart from a Nissan GTR, that could go as fast as this thing. Well, maybe a few, but, you know, especially the older models, my, you know, running 400, 450 brake horsepower in my Skyline. You know, I went, in kilometers an hour this is, I went from like 40 to 180 in about 30 seconds. It's insane. And I wasn't even trying as well. That's the worst thing. You know, if I tried to go fast, I'm pretty sure it would have been super quick. But yeah, uh, if I ever get the money, I want to buy that car back. So things looking good here. I'm sorry. Look, I can't do two things at once, can I? I have to either talk, but we're letting it run. It's going fine. We're making 300, 400 an hour-ish. Let's see. If we want to we add a bit more, don't we? Let's, ex blah, 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 blah. Let's expand this side. We'll just do repeat that there for now. I think. Yeah, let's go all the way. Let's do this. Come down here. Let's not join there. We don't want too much traffic. I will try and find a design later on. So we're going to need at least. We're going to need a university later on. That's going to suck. We'll get the university, get the high tech, and then just demolish it, I think. Because, like I said, we're going to get rid of the... Or maybe not, mate. Or maybe we'll just stick a few a community college in, because we're only going to have a small amount of people. 
let's yeah let's draw this up small amount of people just as workers that's all we want you know there's a few commercial nothing nothing too extreme May, maybe something like in my high high population challenge kind of the resource city if you watch that if not check it out i got up to what was it i got in that final episode in a in a city i got up to very almost 900,000 people and to be honest with you i could have tried a bit harder and got more in but i didn't you know i just wanted it it was just a challenge myself i wanted to unlock the final stage of the, the town hall which i did very that's very easy actually guys if you if you plan your traffic and you have a resource city you can do that it's so easy actually to be honest with you it's not much, much of a challenge i don't think now if you need any help with that if you are struggling check out the high population challenge series i give you ideas on how to do it and you know you watch me progress it's only five episodes you know i skip at all of the boring stuff i don't drink coffee in it <laughs> so yeah um i think you guys might enjoy that so what are we needing you know if we check this out it says we need medium wealth yeah it's a lie we're starting a new city we're not talking about region here we have unemployment okay that's fine but we've got to start thinking in about the future so we've got six grand let's expand this a bit more what do we need to unlock the oil because we can place the oil here and start sucking up what are you you cost 10 grand you're only 75 an hour that is awesome cheap chips but to start oil drilling i need to have seven industrial buildings so oh, man it's too much game too much the things that they make you do you know what i am all for doing industry right if i want to make an industry city that's fine but they shouldn't make it so hard that you it's forced upon your city if you know what i mean i don't like it that's too much Something being forced upon a city, I don't think is necessary. I think, you know, the whole point is for us to use our imagination and do what we want. There we go, we've got seven now, so that should unlock. We're going to need about 30 grand. I think it is. Is it 30 grand? It's been approved. 37.5. But we need to get the trade depot up and a uh, trade port. No, yeah, trade depot first. I'm getting mixed up now. Craziness. Trade port up and running so we can store it all. And then we need to, you know, get these up to medium wealth, maybe. And not medium wealth, medium density. I've been, ah, my mind's crazy today. I've, I've been awake too long. <laughs> I don't know what, what I'm talking about. Yeah, better when I'm tired, although I don't think I'm as entertaining. But still, I enjoy it. I don't mind. I know. My morning routine is I wake up, get dressed, go, go downstairs. I have a cigarette, which is bad for me, I know. Then I make my coffee unless my wife has already done it. Bless her heart. I love it when she does that. You know, it's like a nice surprise. It makes my day go quicker as well. Just a little bit quicker. So then I grab my coffee. I come upstairs. And then I'm either playing Minecraft, you know, getting it ready for the videos. Or, well, actually, no. First, I check my YouTube out. You know, check what's happened overnight. How many views I've got. You know, trying, I'm still trying to assess how my channel is going. And I think my channel is going fine. So I do that, and then, you know, I'm either watching a YouTube video, you know, just to wake me up a little bit, for half an hour to an hour, or I'm playing Minecraft now, getting ready for the day, you know, because it's taking up a lot of time, even more time now, because I'm going on vacation soon, the day after Christmas, for a few days, I'll talk about more, more about that next episode, I think, but yeah, that's my morning routine, you know, and then I, I make my videos, I make, it's all SimCity, no matter what comes first. It's, you know, it's what my channel is all about right now. So, you know, and it's the easiest videos to make. Half an hour straight. Easy. So I do them like I'm doing right now. That's it for this morning. I had a, a chore to do. Take the dog to the, the groomers. But most days, it's, you know, it's just a normal routine. And I like the routine. It's, it's, it's just drilled into me now. It doesn't matter what time I wake up. I'm roughly awake within an hour. And I'm doing videos. Just getting ready. Just... And then I'm having fun talking to you guys like I am now. Really enjoy it. But yeah. Things. Hopefully in February I'm going back to Guam. 
and hopefully by then i know this this makes it seem like i'm doing youtube for money but that's not true i hopefully they pay me i need well actually no i'm ready to be paid it's not a lot of money it's going to be a nice little um uh, bonus for when i go to guam to spend you know just spend a bit of money get something i like you know a bit, a bit of a treat for myself thanks to you guys for watching you know it's not a lot of money it's less than 200 dollars in fact it's less than 150 dollars to be honest with you but yeah i'm waiting for this for my adsense to work i'm gonna be getting paid for western union you know so they're gonna take a bit of money from me there but i need i'm waiting for this code for my adsense so i so they can send it to me i want it here by january 1 so i can get paid by february 1 because i think that's how they do it but yeah it's take it's coming in the post of all the things in the world they do it snail mail i understand why they're doing it but you know <coughs> it's to for one it's got to come to my address it's no so no one accesses my account is you know it, you know it's a, just a code just a simple simple code i've got to enter into the adsense and then you know it's just to verify my account so they know that it's me i think it'd be worse if i had a bank account i'd have to verify more or something i sorted out the tax part because i don't live in the states i don't have to pay any tax which is awesome which you know i want to pay tax in the philippines my channel's not big enough for me to actually do it right now but if I ever, if I, if, if, and it's a big, if, if I ever did get enough money, I would like to register this, this as a business and then I could actually, you know, pay tax and get some sort of proper visa here. I think it would be a nice way to do that. And then maybe get another job as well. No matter what though, I think throughout my life now, I'm always going to do YouTube. Even if I'm only getting one view on a video, I think I'm still going to do it. As long as I'm entertaining one person, I'm happy. I enjoy it. I, I want to entertain people. I think this idea came when my, my wife, you know, when I first came here, we got a lot of unemployment, that's okay, that's going to change, but my wife, you know, she started saying, you're so poggy, you're so poggy, which is good looking in, uh, or handsome in Filipino, and her friends started saying it too, and then they're like, you should be on TV, right, I don't think I'm good looking, I think, you know, I'm average looking, but <laughs> when I go to the malls and stuff, there are quite a few women that look at me, and gay guys, you know, that still doesn't bother me. It's fine, you know, it can boost my ego a little bit. So ever since then, you know, they're like, you should be on TV. It kind of, I don't know, changed my idea of being an actor or a model or something, an entertainer. I know YouTube for me now is kind of, it's helping me out. It's boosting my confidence and all of this. I'm really enjoying it. We need a hospital, they're going to complain. Detective Wing researched. Oh, it finally happened in one of the, in the other city, did it? Oh... Ah, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's not this city. It's one of those over there. They finally have an all connect throughout the region properly. Because normally it's just where the road or the rail connects to another city. This time it's going. See, look. Petition to build detective wing approved. Or is it something else that's going on? I have no idea. Anyway. Um, but yeah, this, this city. I think we're going to go for leaderboard. We're just waiting right now. I've, let's build some more. Let's go ahead and do. Let's get some more built. Yeah, let's come up here. Let's let's go this. Let's build out this way now. I want to build out this way. Just change the pattern a little bit. Let's do this and then that and then that. Where is it? Ah, nice grid pattern. So let's do it. Just just to change it up a little bit. This episode. Put a bit more commercial for some jobs. Some more people here, here, here. Let's not go too far in. We want them to go medium dead. Why are you not going to build that? What's wrong with you, guy? Too many deaths. That's okay. We're early on in the city. No problems, though. I'm going to try and keep all these problems to a minimum. We got 31 grand. I think we need 50 grand before we can start doing things. Let's see how the shopper situation is. We have unsatisfied shoppers. So we need more commercial. Let's stick it in the center of town. We got some there. Let's do it here. Let's bulldoze. Let's press control instead of trying to drag it along. I don't know why I did that. Let's pause the game. One second. I said pause game. Pause. Come on. Let's press control. Come on. Yeah, let's do that. Let's bulldoze these again. I always do. I should unzone first. I, I always do it the wrong way. So let's get we need these small shops. They don't give out too many jobs. They don't. I put, I, did I not pause the game? Was there a bit of lag there and it unpaused itself? 
craziness. But anyway, holy crap, we got 2,000 residents already. I think this is the quickest I've gone. I like to go a bit slower, but I think, you know, I can go a bit quicker, like I am now. Hopefully nothing goes wrong too quick, too quickly. You know, we've already got people petitioning for hospitals. You know, they're going to want fire and police pretty soon. And I normally do that around 5,000 residents because I think that's when it's needed. What is going on with all these petitions? I have no idea. I have no idea. So we're coming up on about 20 minutes. I think it's a bit more than 20 minutes actually. A video. And this is what the new city looks like. So yeah, in a few episodes we're going to go over here and do the same again. And I think I'm going to do what I'm going to be doing in my other Let's Play. Let's mess up some cities of tomorrow where I'm doing two cities at once on that. I'm doing Omega Co. And Futopia, which is um, which is the academy. We're going about it that way. To be honest with you, the, obviously the progress within each city is a bit slower. Because I do it only a little bit. 15 minutes at a time. 15-20 minutes at a time each. But with this... The way I'm going to do it is I'm going to concentrate on getting the industry up in here while maybe doing a bit off camera in here. Just giving this run, just running the city because we want to get up to high amounts. But anything important like placing buildings or anything like that, I think that I'm going to put that on camera. But I still don't want the episodes to go too quickly. I like I like drawing it out a bit, making it a bit longer, the series longer. That's where we get to fall in love with the cities. You know, if you build a city quickly, you know, you don't love it. You don't want to put too much time into it. You know, that last city though, this one. I, I think it was the state of the islands that put me off the city. The city itself, I enjoyed building. I enjoyed the fur ground, getting the troubleshooting that. But I don't know, there was something about I prefer more ground to work with you, uh, for me. I think, you know, going a bit slower with the city, you fall in love with it more and you want it to succeed more. So that's what I, my plan is. That's why I go slowly. That's one of the reasons why. The other reason is, is it's so much more controllable in your city. <laughs> and you've seen my cities. They burn. But yeah, the, the, it sorts itself out fairly quickly, in my opinion. Because if you concentrate too much, only garbage now gonna take nine grand from me we've only just got the 50 grand let's place this up here we'll leave that we'll let that fill up that should be okay here I think what we might do is outsource the garbage actually put it in this city and they'll come here and pick up because hopefully I won't have too many I won't have for one we don't want tourists but hopefully I won't have too many houses here maybe this is it this area that what we've built I'll change it up a bit but yeah, that's pretty much what I want. I want enough people to work in the buildings we're going to have. And that's it. We're going to get rid of the industry. Put that in the other city and see how that works. Hopefully they can... Uh, it's going to be... There's going to be a lot of industry there. And I mean a lot. we got free rubble. It's all here because they burnt to the ground like derps. Alrighty then. Okay, we're almost at the point where we can afford this trade depot. So let's try it. Let's get that put in today. Oops, wrong one. I'm still going on to the wrong things, aren't I? Stupid me. Let's place this there. Let's zoom in. Let's go inside. Let's bulldoze the freight. Which I still think, Max, is you should be able to import and export. <laughs> it's one of my new pet peeves. So let's get a crude oil up. Let's place that down. So we have 37 grand now there. So how much are you exactly? 37.5. We need just a little bit more money. And we'll place that here. Start sucking it up. Sending it to there. And storing it. And I let's check. Oh, we've got more rubble. One more rubble. You can tell when you've got rubble in your city. Not just abandoned buildings. Because it goes yellow. You know, the, the city doesn't really mind the abandoned buildings. But you should get rid of them quite quickly. Because they get set on fire. And they become rubble. Or they just end up being rubble anyway. It's one of those weird situations. Right, we can afford this now. So we want to put this right here. We might end up getting rid of that commercial zone. I know I said I wasn't going to work here, but as of right now, it's the more logical thing to do. So let's place this hit hither. Yes, place that, place that there. Oh look, the ground's gone down. Hmm. I've been working. I've been working really hard on something, and it's just not going to work out. 
if you remember back in the day <laughs> when I when I, you know a couple months into my channel I did them um, the underground road network and rail but what I wanted to do was um, raise the ground up you know going down on the ground is easy this this is so easy it's unbelievable but getting the ground raised up I wanted to make little pillars of ground you know put an intersection on top and then have bridges going around your city like a skyway kind of like the road underground road network but above ground obviously where you know you know you have one or two on ramps and then you know they get off at those places but then they use the traffic around the city I cannot I cannot get there up high enough I can get it up to the height of maybe maybe this the top of this oil barrel I can probably get it up that high maybe a little bit bigger ah yeah for one, once it's that big, you can't create the intersection anyway. So it's not worth it. It's not worth me making a video on getting the ground higher. It's too much time and effort now. I've just really got to give up. It's just, it's just impossible. You can raise the ground. Raising the ground is not hard. You know, it's very easy, but it's not worth it. It's For one, it costs a lot of money just to get it up a little bit. So you could essentially make a platform, a raised up platform in your, in your area if you wanted to. But yeah, it's it's annoying me. I just can't do it. So we're gonna be pumping oil. We don't need any extra trucks to deliver here. And what we wanna do here is use locally, not importing or exporting. We're gonna save it all up, and hopefully soon we can get. We're gonna have to sell something. We're gonna have to get. How much is this recycling center? We need to get that in. Holy moly, you're expensive. I knew that though. About 100. It's all the ones. 111,000. But you know what? If you're willing to wait and put the time into it, you can get that quite early on. And then we can start selling that. You know, we sell that. Keep all the other stuff. You know, make. Get the HQ up and we can see if we are going to go for the. <laughs> I forgot what it is. For the top of the leaderboard. I think the best way to go for the leaderboard is to start from the bottom, do the cheap stuff. The problem is right now, actually, the oil and the raw ore, the prices are super expensive. If we check in this now, look at that, 12 grand. Are you kidding me? Before, you were paying, what, three, four grand at, month, at most? Do you know why it's this expensive? Because of Omega Co. Everyone's buying it for Omega Co. And, it's, you know, the economy's gone up. Selling this stuff... You're going to make a lot of money importing it. Not too good. Not too good. It's too expensive now, actually. You know, I have an Omega Coke City, and I'm drilling up all the oil and the stuff there. I think that's going to be the easiest way. But once I get past that point, it's going to be expensive. As long as I'm making more through Omega Coke, though, on that other city, it's going to be worth it. But yeah, the raw ore is about the same price. Super expensive. Coal? Coal's the cheapest if you want to import something. Use coal, but you can't really do much with the coal. What can you use coal for? You smelt the coal? I don't think you do. Do you? yeah, maybe you do the coal and the alloy, the coal and the ore to make an alloy. But that's it. It's not worth it. It's too expensive now. That's why it's better to dig it all up. And we got a nice plot of land to do that. So that's why we're not selling any of it. We could make the money. You know, it's expensive now. We could sell a couple barrels, save it all up, sell it. We got that seventy-two grand. Easy. We do not want to do that though, we want to save it up, it's too expensive to be importing yet. We want to get it all done, stock up as much as possible. Alright, none of it's gone over yet though, or has it? Oh, just got some now, which means, let's go in here and let's add a couple more. We want to get that trade port open ASAP, let's put all of these on for now. Let's get that for, I think we're going to have one for each resource. And it doesn't matter, once this is full and this gets full, we, we can just stop it. It can say close, needs, you know, full storage or whatever. It's not going to cost us too much, any money then. Once it's closed, it's closed, it stops producing. We save money for a little bit. But I think we'll do one full like this for now for each of them until we can get the, the trade port unlocked. Oh, it's already unlocked. Ha ah, because it's regional. We've unlocked it within the region. But yeah, we, we're going to save up now, get the recycling done. Let's check on the happiness of the people first.
oh, they're ready to go medium density. Let's just wait a little bit longer, maybe next episode. Because we're about to end up wrap up here and we'll make them go medium. Get more people in, get a bit more cash. Start putting down police fire hospitalness. Try and get the recycling centre down as well, making a bit of cash through that. Get the trade net thing up, the HQ. And we're going to go for that leaderboard. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this very talky episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy this episode, please leave a like. If you want to watch some more, subscribe if you're new. And I do thank you all for watching. Leave your comments in the comment box, people. We're going to need a name for this city. We will. We're going to get rid of the rubble. Nine. Holy moly, you're losing me money, rubble. And I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.